6.45, we'll call to order the meeting of the Fitchburg Public Safety and Human Services for September 27, 2022. Meeting is being held in City Hall in the Genie Sealing Room. Uh, attending tonight, uh, myself, Alder Strassman, uh, Alder Allen is absent tonight. Um, we, I do not believe we have anyone for non-agenda items. I believe everyone is here for an agenda item. So we'll move on to the consent agenda, which includes approval of minutes from September 12th, approval of routine licenses, operator license report, and change of agent for quick trip 959 uh, KNF Fanning uh, Blanton. Do we have a motion to approve I'll the consent agenda? I'll make a motion to approve. Moved move by Strassman. Any questions? No. I'll just note that for the uh, um, routine licenses, we have one, one new, and it's for at uh, Buffalo Wild Wings, okay? So see no comments, we'll call the vote. All in favor of approval of the consent agenda, signify by saying aye. 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 Approved, okay? Next, we have agenda item four alpha, review of the following license applications Sound permits. The first one is for Moises' 18th birthday party, Moises Hernandez, 3640 Breckenridge Court, Department 15, Fitchburg, for Moises' 18th birthday to be held at Hegel Jamestown Park on Saturday, October 10th from 8 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. with amplified sound. Do we have a motion to approve? Or do we have a motion? I have a motion. Motion. Uh, yeah, I'll make a motion. Okay, moved by Strassman. Um, is, uh, is Moises on? Can you hear us? Have to unmute yourself, Moises. Hola, como yeah, esta? I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. um, um, how many people are you expecting for the, for the party? Um, I'm expecting about 150, 100 through 150 around there. Oh, okay. That'll be a good party. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right. The facility can hold it. Uh, what I always ask Moises, two things. Uh, um, with a larger group like this that A, we uh, um, keep the facility, clean up the facility well, you know, take care of the facility. Yeah. And second, there are neighbors, uh, it's getting dark a little er earlier, um, you know, be respectful for the neighborhood with the sound, okay? That's all we yeah. ask, you know, maybe you start playing, it gets a little louder, maybe you want to walk around the edge of the park where the houses are and see if you're, if you're, hearing, if you're hearing it, if it seems... Seems like you're hearing it pretty good, then you might want to tune it down. So I'll leave that up to you, okay? Yeah. All right, yeah. thank you. Yeah. you. Understand my expectations. Uh, we thank you for having that party. It's a wonderful venue there and uh, we wish you the best. Any questions, Shannon? No, I'll make a motion. Oh. Okay, it's been moved by Strassman. We'll call the vote. All in favor of approval of the Moises 18th birthday party, signify by saying aye. Aye. Aye, motion carries. As Tracy mentioned, you should get the license in the mail this week. Next, um, for Bravo, the Sub-Zero Work Picnic, uh, Ashley Foster, 2866 Buds Drive, Fitchburg, for Sub-Zero Wolf Work Picnic to be held at McKee Farms Park, 2930 Chapel Valley Road, uh, on October 6th from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. with amplified sound. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Strassman, okay. Ashley, um, what can you tell us about the event? Um, so it's our fall manufacturing engineering picnic. Okay. I just started there, so it's just the first event I've ever put together for them. All right, cool. 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 Well, a little pressure. <laughs> want to make a big splash. Uh, how many people are you expecting? Um, I have RSVP and I have just over 90. 90, okay, nice size party. Again, you've probably heard me before as, as I caution everyone. Uh, thank you for you considering using our, our park for your, your event. Uh, we ask, you know, you due diligence to keep it clean. And uh, second, you know, uh, with the sound, we've been receiving complaints from, from people, you know, that the sound from these events is a little loud. I'll leave it up to you to gauge that. Uh, just be, you know, have fun, but uh, um, you know, be respectful of the neighborhood. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. You have a question, Shannon? No. Okay. 
Call the vote. All in favor of the uh, Sub-Zero work, uh, Sub-Zero Wolf work picnic sound permits signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. All right, actually you should receive the license here this week. Thank you. Perfect, thank you guys. All right, good luck. Thanks. Next we have uh, five alpha review of the following uh, license applications, the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation walk, consideration of application for special event street use sound permit, JDRF uh, walk. Uh, to be held um, on Saturday, Sunday, October 9th from 7 to 1 p.m. starting and ending at McKee Farms Park in Fitchburg. Amplified sound from 8.30 to 8.30 uh, a.m. to 1 p.m. And we have a motion to approve. I'll make a motion to approve. Moved by Strassman. Um, Tracy, do you know, have, has the, uh, uh, the police department reviewed or the fire department reviewed the route? Or is this That's a... correct. They've all they've all reviewed it and everything's been discussed. Okay. So, yep, right. this has got approved on our end. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Julie, how many how many people are you expecting? Um, anywhere from right now we have like thirty one teams registered. Okay. So we're anticipating anywhere from three hundred to three fifty. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Um, You've heard my spiel again. Be respectful of the neighborhood is all we ask, you know, especially mm -hmm. on the walk. Uh, be safe. Be safe yeah. amongst all things on the walk. Or um, always be alert and uh, again, be respectful of the neighborhood and enjoy your event. And thank you for holding yeah. it here in Fitchburg. Okay. Yeah. Shannon, any questions? Nope. Call the vote. All in favor of the uh, uh, conservation application for street street event use sound permit. Uh, JDRF, one walk, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Julie. Great. Thank you. Okay. Next, we have six, uh, six alpha. Review of the following license applications. The Hop House Beer Run, consideration of application for special event, street use sound permit. The Hop House uh, Beer Run, Ryan Greismeyer, 2995 Sub-Zero Parkway, for Hop House Run to be held on Saturday, October 15th from 9 to 1, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., starting and ending at Hop House Brewery uh, uh, with amplified sound from 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 to 3 p.m. We have a motion to approve. So moved. Okay, moved by Strassman. Uh, Ryan, what is the approximate route, uh, uh, your approximate route for the, for the beer run? The 5K will leave both Hop House Race Day events, follow Sub-Zero on the south side of the road, um, then the west side of the road up the hill, turning left, and I'm blanking again on the name. Let me pull up the map real quick. They had this all down, and I, I'm, I'm panicking on the name again. Going down um, Lacey or past, something. Uh, past the gravel pit over there towards the bike path. Yep. Okay. I know the road. Uh, and right back again. So it turns around pretty much at the intersection of the bike path and the road. Um, hugging the curb lane there. So what we do is uh, we create a um, detour where you have to go around. There's no uh, southbound and eastbound traffic on Sub Zero. Um, it's a detour with westbound only, so that Sub Zero can Sub Zero the company can always get to their parking lots without any impact. We make sure they're aware of everything and let them know. Okay, understood. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Tracy, it's been reviewed by uh, police and fire and approved. Correct. Yeah, okay. Ryan came in the best everything over everything with us. All right. Yeah. Ryan, I believe this is the second the second uh, year you're having this event? Yes, sir. Sound right? What, uh, how many do you expect? Uh, right now we're looking like we're going to be almost spot on last year's numbers. We expect about 750 people total. Again, the 5K is the bulk of the people um, running at 9 a.m. They'll be done and off the course by 10 a.m. And then the Beer Mile, which is a much smaller footprint, um, leaving from Hop House and Race Day just past the bike path and back, okay. um, taking up a very small footprint from 10 a.m. to about 1 p.m. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Uh, again, we ask uh, with the sound. Uh, just compared to last year, Ryan, you have houses right across the street that weren't there. 
you know, that um, maybe weren't there or, or, you know, are occupied now that weren't last year. So again, uh, be respectful. Be respectful of the neighborhood. Uh, if it's too sure. loud, you know, I'm the one they call. So um, yeah, and we'll uh, intentionally uh, aim that sound to the west towards perfect. the gravel pit. So it should be good there. Please do that. Yeah, should be no problem at all. Okay. Shannon, any questions? No. Okay. Uh, all in favor of the uh, the Hop House Special Event Street Use Sound Permit, signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Next, we have seven alpha consideration request change and premise description Hop House Brewing. Hop House Brewing, 2975 Sub Zero Parkway, Fitchburg. Request to amend premises to allow service of alcohol in the Hop House Brewing Company LLC parking lot at 2975. Sub Zero Parkway uh, on October 15th from 10 to 4 p.m. for the Hop House beer run. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Strassman. Um, again, Tracy, the, um, the, this layout has been reviewed by police, police and fire for the. Per this, correct. This they sent in a letter requesting that their premise be amended to uh, accommodate that event to have beer out in their parking lot. Okay. So it's just a temporary amendment to their to their premise to their alcohol license. Ryan, do you put a fence up for this event? Yes, sir. All the drinking is done within a fence there. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I like I like hearing that. That was my only. That was my only question. Mm -hmm. uh, well, one uh, step ahead of you on that one. We right. know the rules. Well, <laughs> I suspect some of the people maybe are going to run a little too hard, and after a beer, they might might fall off the parking lot. <laughs> so. Yeah. <laughs> all right. You have a question, Shannon? Nope. All right. Uh, call the vote. All in favor of uh, consideration of the uh, um, premise description change for Hop House Brewing. Signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. You are approved, uh, Ryan. Good luck with the event. With any luck, you'll you'll maybe see me over there. All right. Thank you guys so much. We invite everybody to be there. Please All right. enjoy. Good luck it. with your event. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Next, we're on to agenda item eight, alpha, approval resolution and or ordinance. We have resolution R, one eighty three twenty two, amending the 22, 2022 grants donations fund budget for police department bike patrol equipment. Do we have a motion to approve? So moved. Moved by Strassman. I'm going to turn it over to Matt here, and I'll let you explain this here. So, us. yeah, this is just another opportunity for the police department to use the ARPA grant uh, money that uh, was awarded to us by Governor Evers through the Safer Communities Initiative. Uh, this fits a very specific um, purchasing category within that grant. Uh, it is a very um, tight um, grant to be able to use any of the funding. Uh, so we thought it was a, a great opportunity for us to upgrade our, our police uh, patrol bicycles, which uh, were purchased back in the late 1990s. Uh, so to replace the antiquated bicycles, we are going to replace them with four standard uh, patrol bicycles and four uh, electric assist patrol bicycles. And, any officer that is on the bike patrol unit or utilizing the bikes has to pass the uh, IPIMBA certification course, which is an internationally recognized uh, but police uh, bicycle safety okay. course. Okay. Uh, I, I couldn't think of a better use of this money. We've, uh, you know, I've had this discussion with, uh, with uh, Ned, you know, mm -hmm. when, when we were able to have an officer on the bike in my neighborhood, it, mm -hmm. it, it, was, uh, it was a godsend, you know. The, you got to know the children and just that Correct. that presence was was very worthwhile um are you able to you know, buy the bikes are there um, accessories that you're able to buy also for these bikes? so the, the purchase the total dollar amount does include accessories okay. uh through through the uh invoice process the quote process so okay. uh there are a few and we're also able to utilize certain accessories on the previous bikes to, okay. to fully outfit uh, the bikes that we're purchasing. So I'm assuming one accessory might be lights? Lights, yeah. um, the uh, racks on the back for the uh, okay. bags, Okay. Uh, new bags, water bottles. Um, we have enough helmets right now. Okay. Um, yeah, all of the all of the accessories that they're going to need. Wonderful. I, yeah. I couldn't, couldn't be happier to see this use of that. that you and I uh, both. That money. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Um, <coughs> All right, Shannon, any questions? No. All right. 
I call the vote. All in favor of resolution R-18322 signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries, Matt. Thank you for thank coming you. in. Absolutely. Thank you for the explanation. Not a problem. Our next meeting is uh, month is uh, uh, October October 11th, uh, 2022. Uh, this time I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Moved by Strassman. We'll call the vote. All in favor of adjournment, signify by saying aye. Aye. We are adjourned. Thank you.